Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Peacock McLaughlin. It is summer and that means for many of our families that it is time to get outside in nature. And many times we like to explore during the summer, whether exotic places, we like to go to interesting historical sites. We even like to plan out every little detail of summer and outdoors, whether it's transportation, scheduling special tours, uh, looking into the world and exploring it kind of under a microscope. It was Richard Louvre who wrote Last Child in the Woods and Vitamin Inn who really enlightened my own thinking about the fact that I, like many of you guys, really, really, really love to explore nature. And during the summer and vacations, that is the perfect time to really take your outdoor classroom or excuse me, to take your indoor classroom and really make it an outdoor classroom. So you might have picked up on my love of, of learning outside through some of my previous blog posts. I've written about bikes and getting outside with bikes. I've talked about reading under a hammock. Uh, I've even talked about some beach days with some great books in literature, because why not, right? Uh, and you're more than welcome to explore those. But I want you to think this summer about taking nature even a step further, your exploration of nature. I want you to design your very own outdoor classroom. So I currently am in my outdoor classroom. I am sitting at an outdoor picnic table. I have, from my house, extended an extra Wi-Fi, like a Wi-Fi extender, so that my entire side yard gets great Wi-Fi. And I'm sitting under this, well, I'll show you. It's an amazing old pecan tree uh, that certain times of the year does produce pecans, which is really kind of uh, fun to collect, but the, it's later on in the year, so I don't have to worry about pecans falling on me right now. And then my background is this beautiful old magnolia tree, and this is my outdoor classroom. I have Wi-Fi out here. I have everything I need. Uh, so I want to know, what does your outdoor classroom look like, or how do you want to design it? Just get out there today and build an outdoor classroom. Why not? Another way during the summer to explore nature outside are through some local and regional park exploration. Uh, local and regional parks are increasingly getting Wi-Fi at them, so you can always grab your computer or your book and, uh, and take, it, take it to a, a local park. Why not? But you can even extend your learning from our online amazing school uh, even further. If you, let's say, take a hike to a local, a local uh, hiking location, and then you gather a rock or two, of course, only what's legal, uh, gather a rock or two and then come back and try to break it open and identify the rock. Uh, some of our physical science classes have uh, some microscopes where you can uh, identify rocks, so why not? Or let's say you're in history and you're studying about some old forts, <laughs> you might be able to find an old fort in your area and go explore it. It might have, uh, let's say, conquistadors at it from your history textbook. Uh, another way is to take one of our amazing English course curriculum authors, find somebody who's written something about nature, whether it's something as simple as like Casey at the Bat and Baseball Outside, or something a little bit stronger, like maybe a Robert Frost poem, to Roads Divide, uh, and read it. It submerge yourself in nature and have a little bit of a greater understanding and perspective from what the author did. And finally, uh, another way to kind of explore nature is on your big vacation for the summer. I know as a mom, <laughs> and a parent, uh, we spend hours and hours scouring the internet for the most perfect destination to take our families. We want our big vacations to be just amazing. Well, I'm gonna encourage you this summer to pick one of the locations that's in the description box below. I've put a link into a, a bunch of different sites, including the UNESCO, the World Heritage Sites through the United Nations, um, the National Park Service, the United States National Park Service this year, is having their centennial celebration. So why not go explore a national park? There might be one in your back door that you don't even know about, or you could plan a big vacation to one of them. Uh, just some some bits about me. I am a huge person uh, that loves exploring water, any kind of water. I love swimming, so I love exploring water. 
While I've been working at K-12 International Academy, I've had the opportunity through our amazing flexible program um, to take a look at the hydrology of the Grand Canyon in person, to go to Death Valley where I study dry lake beds in person, and uh, Yellowstone where we looked at geysers. And again, all of these places offer amazing opportunities to extend learning uh, from our online courses into the natural world. Uh, so I wanna know, where are you gonna explore this summer? What are you gonna look at? And what are you going to discover in the natural world that extends your online learning? I definitely look forward to hearing from you in the chat box. I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer and continue to have a wonderful summer. And I'll see you next time.